Are you a blessing to those around you? As Christians, we're called to be the light in a dark world. This not only means that we believe the truth of new life in Christ Jesus through the repentance of sin, but share it as well. Many will not have ears to hear your words, but you must speak them because you can't predict who will receive the message. If you start being selective about who you're willing to approach based on your own comfort level, opportunities to save the lost to God's love will fall through the cracks, and those you could have reached will not only be miserable in this world, but spend eternity in the same place they've spent their lives here on earth, in the dark. And you remember what the darkness was like. Acts chapter 247 says that as the early Christians praised God, they had favor with all people. The point, of course, is not to focus on the favor of those around you, but through focusing on the Lord, His light will shine so brightly through you that it will affect your mood and countenance to such a degree that others cannot help but be blessed by who you've become in Christ. The temptation is, as we are transformed by the renewing of our minds as Christians, to forget that it's our relationship with God through Christ Jesus that's been changing us via the Holy Spirit's power to do so. You'll find that if you start taking the credit and becoming proud of the new set of spiritual clothes you've been given to wear, which intrigues others, that the beauty created through God's mercy will be spoiled by your prideful attitude. The key to blessing those around you and gain godly favor is to be filled with the fruits of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control.